In this next video lesson, we're going to be looking at linking and embedding data. The process for this is very similar, but the resultant practicalities of it are different. First of all, I want to show you that I have a spreadsheet with some data in it. So here's my spreadsheet and the data is rainfall in Cockermouth and you can see the data we've got there. I want that data to appear in my word processing document underneath the subtitle for rainfall. Now we could copy and paste and there's a range of other methods as well but this method I'm going to show you involves inserting an object. So we do insert object and before I get to the spreadsheet I just want to point out that there are lots of different types of objects that you can insert into your document. For example, if you want a calendar control or a chart, you can insert other word processing documents and PowerPoint slides. There's all kinds of things you can create. And these are new documents that you are creating, new objects that you are creating. But we've already got an object. So, and that object is the data that I showed you that already exists in a file. So we're going to create the new object from the file. This allows us to browse our computer to find the spreadsheet that we saw earlier. And here it is, rainfall in Cockermouth. So we insert that document and OK. So we found the location of the spreadsheet and then we click on OK. There is the data. The process that we've just been through embeds the data into this Word document. Embed means that it exists here in the Word document as a totally separate entity from the original data. There's no linking at all. The original data is intact. This data is intact. This object works like any other object that we've worked with, like clip art, where you can adjust the wrapping and adjust the size of the document. So all those features work on this object. But we can also edit the object. So say, for example, I've got the, the numbers for January incorrect, there shouldn't be 30, then I can double click the object. And it opens up the data for editing. It is in fact a mini Excel, a mini spreadsheet inside the word processing document and I can simply click in and modify the data. When I click away from that object we can see I'm back in the word processing document and the data has been modified. That's double click, choose the data to change, make the modification, click away and the modification has been made. That data is embedded. It has no bearing on the original data. And I'll prove that. If I bring back up the original spreadsheet, you can see that the data no longer matches. So that's fine for a one-off event. But the next thing we're going to look at allows you to link the two documents so that they are always up to date. We'll delete the embedded data and this time we will insert an object again but this time we will link it. So we'll do insert object from file because we know it's there as a document already. We browse for the file, we find the location of where that file was on our computer and we insert. So far exactly the same as embedding. The difference now is that we can use this tick box to link the two documents together. While we're here on the tick boxes, just notice the tick box underneath display as icon. That will allow you to have a, an icon that looks like a spreadsheet rather than the actual data. So you have a little play with that and see the effects. But we're going to leave it as link to file and then OK. And it looks exactly the same, almost. 
The difference now is that when I double click to edit this data, it actually opens up Excel. The Excel application is there for me to make modifications to. So I've changed January there. Now the idea is that when I save this document and close it down, when I go back to my original document, I can then update this to take effect of the changes we've just made. And I can right click and do update and it will modify that data, brought it back to 25 log. Now, because those documents are linked, when I close this document, when I reopen that document, we get this message saying, wait a minute, there's a link somewhere. Do you want us to allow that link to happen? And we do. And then it also says, do we want to update the document with the data from the linked file? So we have the option of saying no, and then the data will stay as it was. Or we can say yes, and it will reflect all the changes from the spreadsheet. There's our linked data. So linked and embedded.